Gotta let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll... <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Good morning. So we are still in the midst of school, but I am trying the elderberry jelly on toast. You want to try some? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. You like it? A little. Hmm. That's sweet, huh? <laughs> no. That's pretty good. It tastes very similar to like grape or blackberry jelly. You want some more? Huh? No? Okay, that's okay. Alright, let's finish up. School, Reagan's almost done. And then move it on to the next kid. Hmm. Okay, made a little bit of a mess, but we are making grilled cheese for lunch. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I had a conversation with a friend recently about the most efficient way to make many grilled cheese sandwiches. Are you gonna do the puzzles? Okay. Um, and she mentioned that she does hers in the air fryer, and I was like, I don't know why I haven't thought about that. So that's what I'm gonna try today. Yeah, I'll help you in just a minute. Um, so I actually have 11 grilled cheeses here, or, you know, assembled. I have one slice of cheese left. That's just funny. Um, anyway, so we're going to try these in the air fryer. So I was able to fit six sandwiches in the air fryer, which is about the same as the griddle. I think I could actually do eight on the griddle. We had this whole conversation about just feeding a large family. And so she was asking me like, how many pieces, like how many loaves of bread does it take for y'all if everybody had a sandwich? I was like, about a loaf and a half. Cause she was like, do you like make grilled cheeses for everybody? That just seems like a lot of work. I was like, I mean, you just get used to it when you're have this many kids. But anyway, so I just thought that was funny. Um, and then she mentioned that she does grilled cheeses in the air fryer and that just sounded really good. She said that they crisp up really well. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And that's easier than like getting out the griddle and stuff like that. So we will see how these, I'm sure that they will turn out fine. Here, will you put this in the laundry room? Okay. Yeah, I'm making grilled cheese for, yeah, everybody. We'll have grilled cheese for lunch. Yeah, yeah. That's one of their favorites. I want, yeah. I want, I want, I want. Okay, we had lunch. The grilled cheese in the air fryer, not my fave. It was more like toast and crispy than grilled, like on the griddle. <laughs> now saying this out loud, totally makes sense, right? Anyways, it was worth a shot trying something different, but everybody agreed. Mom, just get out the griddle and make grilled cheese the old fashioned way. Okay, so I realized I never showed y'all the completion of the table that I was working on. Goodness, when did I start this thing? Ah! Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> so, do you remember whenever I started this? A month ago. No, it was longer than that. Anyways, I will try to find a before picture and insert it here. But this is an old table that I have had for, goodness, since I moved out of the house. So, a very long time now. And I always wanted to redo it and I just never did. There was water damage on the top. Anyways, I finally finished it and I love how it turned out. This was in my bedroom, but I moved it to the living room. Drew, baby, calm down. Um, because I just liked it so much and it's something different in the living room. So this is how it turned out. So it had that veneer top on that I was kind of chiseling away and sanded it all down and stained the top. So I had to use wood filler in places which you can see it actually shows up really good on camera um, but in like everyday life it really doesn't look that bad and it just kind of adds the rustic you know look to it anyways I painted it with white chalk paint I did not do anything to the hardware I just kept it the way that it was I just liked it and I had it so this drawer that was here broke like many years ago and I've just had that basket sitting there that fits perfectly and I put an old antique Pepsi crate underneath it to help keep toys from sliding underneath there. I don't know how well it'll work. But anyways, this is how it turned out and I'm just loving it. Um, so I have not put anything in it. So it's just completely empty. But I could put like kids toys in there and kind of, you know, hide some of the things that are out in the living room. Anyways, I just forgot that I hadn't showed y'all and wanted to show y'all how it turned out. We have some errands to run. I am returning 
all those clothes that I got from the Amazon try-on. A little bit embarrassed about that. I also got a shirt for Nathan that did not work. And I accidentally, remember, I accidentally ordered the same dress twice. Well, I accidentally also ordered the same shirt twice. It was on, I don't even know how that happened. I think I kind of know. Actually, I think it was a glitch in Amazon, but that's okay. Regardless, I got to return all of this and stop by the library and drop off the library books. So anybody else going to the UPS store and do a ton of Amazon returns at once? A little bit embarrassed about that. And I never have service in there either. So it takes forever. I'm going to try to, I don't know, I wonder if I printed them all off. That would be easier. What are you doing? Oh. And then I also have Walmart grocery pickup. Just a small fill-in haul of just mostly snacky stuff because, well, we, we ate all the snacks, y'all. So... Anyways, going to load up, take care of those things. And then I was going to say something else. There was something else that I got to do while I'm out. I don't remember. Hopefully I'll remember in a few minutes. Sing until my arms give up. I'm going to let the sun shine in today. And I will leave my windows open so that I can. Okay. That was eventful, not eventful. I don't know what you want to say. Goodness, I ran into Walmart for just a handful of items because I forgot a few things on my pickup order. And Walmart is just always a pain. Like, the lines were long. There's like two cashiers open. Anyways, so then I'm trying to handle the Amazon returns before I'm at the UPS store. And the app wasn't working. It wasn't letting me return it to the UPS store. Wanted me to, I, anyways. So I was on the phone with Amazon. <laughs> fixed all of that and then I go to the UPS store and they had a sign on the door that said system is down can't take Amazon returns I'm like so seriously like wasted all this time anyway so Amazon returns haven't happened yet but we're back home from our Walmart grocery pickup and I will show you the things that we got okay so starting over here we got two bags of red gala apples one bag of granny smith apples two avocados um, we got almond milk. This is what Camden has switched to instead of the goat milk formula. Um, two things of A2 milk. That's what one of our daughters needs. And then just regular milk. Yes. Three different milks, y'all. Let me tell you how much fun that is. Okay, so we also got heavy whipping cream. I need this for a recipe. I was like, what is it? Oh, I want to try making scones. That's what it was. It does need half and half, but I just figured that I would dilute it and then I can use the heavy whipping, the other portion of it to make like alfredo or something okay so then i actually got two things of grape juice we were exposed to a tummy bug at co-op um several kids have been puking since tuesday night and drew actually did get sick yesterday but he hasn't gotten sick again so we are everybody's drinking grape juice this is a trick that we have done and it does seem to work pretty good so um, if you've been exposed to a tummy bug, drink grape juice. So, grape juice for everybody. Okay, then I also got cherry juice. I've been wa I need to stop watching YouTube videos, y'all. I was watching a video on how to make jelly from juice. And I don't know. It just sounded like fun to me. So, I, that might be a project that I do here soon. You know, because I have uh, so much free time to do these things. <laughs> I don't know. I'm interested. I really want to try to learn how to can and make jelly and stuff like that. So, I'm going to attempt it. So, we got some sliced cheese. I got some coffee filters. I'm gonna go back to my old coffee pot. I actually have coffee beans that I haven't used. So I'm trying to use up stuff, you know, to help our grocery budget. I've got coffee beans. I can get out my old coffee pot and drink that anyway. So that's why I did that. So we've got blueberries. We got two boxes of the chicken and the biscuit crackers, tomatoes. I really have been wanting a BLT. So that's why I got tomatoes. Um, and actually that will work with tonight's dinner as well. So tomorrow night I am gone for my mom's night in with some of my friends from church. And I was thinking of an easy meal. I thought about like making homemade pizza ahead of time. And then whenever I was making this order, I was like, you know what? Just buy some frozen pizza for the family. So that's what we we're having. So I got these cheesy breadsticks. Those are actually seriously good. Motor City. Um, they're just called, yeah, five cheese bread. Super good. And then I did get Walmart brand pizza pepperoni and then just cheese two things of paper towels some bananas chopped spinach because i want to make a quiche for myself and then honey nut cheerios and then some goldfish have like they were like skyrocketed in price so i stopped buying them 
and these were on sale, which Walmart doesn't normally have sales like that. I don't know. It was weird. On the app, they were $6.98 instead of like the $9 that they have been. So I got two boxes, one of the Flavor Blast and one of the Cheddar, which is, they actually haven't even had them either. So maybe that's why they were more expensive before. I don't know. Got those. The kids are excited about that. Two bags of regular chips and then a bag of tortilla chips and some queso. I'm working on dinner now. We are gonna do the copycat recipe for Mexican pizzas from Taco Bell. Y'all know I tried this a few months ago and I did the air fryer. The air fryer just isn't my friend, I guess, with stuff like this. Um, so I actually did deep fry these tortillas. I did 18 tortillas. That's what little bit of oil that is left over. And then I got the taco meat that's been simmering. I actually have uh, refried beans. Um, I normally make my own. So we are gonna use those up and we're gonna have yellow rice with it. So got an assembly line going. So got the tortillas out, do a layer of beans, a layer of meat, salsa, and then you put your other tortilla on top, enchilada sauce, cheese, and tomatoes. Mexican pizzas are assembled and then they're just gonna go in the oven for about five to seven minutes. Dinner was good. I feel like the tortillas could have been a little crunchy. I gotta perfect the crunch factor that's in the Mexican pizza. But anyway, so we have gotten dinner cleaned up and bathing children. I think they're almost done, so I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, and we'll see y'all in the next video.